You're a nurse, a hospitality worker, a teacher, an engineer, an IT personnel, an accountant, an architect. Are you in finance? Are you dreaming of advancing your career in the United States but you're confused about the best visa option? In this video, we would unravel the key differences between the H-1B visa and the EB-3 visa, which would then help you make an informed decision by yourself this decision would be a right path for you because you then will informed in this video i would also tell you about recruitment agencies who are offering these visa options for h1b as well as the eb3 Hi everyone, my name is Uche Ago. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I share immigration updates. I share information that help nurses. If this is what interests you, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Now let's look at the differences between the H-1B and the EB-3 visa. The H-1B visa is a non-immigrant visa that allows US employers to hire foreign workers into a specialized skill. Whereas the EB-3 visa is an immigrant visa. With H-1B visa, you can work in the United States for a specific period of time in occupations we had already listed for nurses, people in finance, IT, engineers, healthcare professionals, pharmacists. Now, what is the eligibility for this H-1B visa? For H-1B visa, you need to have a valid job offer from a US employer. You need to also submit a proof of your bachelor's degree or equivalent experience in that field. Your employer must be able to show that there is a lack of a qualified US applicant for that specific role. Whereas the EB-3 visa, this is an employment-based visa and is an immigrant visa for skilled workers. It's a permanent residency visa. In EB3 visa, there is no expiration. EB3 visa automatically qualifies you to come into the United States with a green card. The EB3 visa is an employment immigrant visa category that allows foreign workers to live in the United States and obtain permanent residence, which is one of the benefits of an EB3 visa. You can live and work in the US. Your eligible family members, your spouse, your children that are not married but are under the age of 21 years, they can come into the US with you and eventually you all can be US citizens and you also have the flexibility to change your employers. This depends on the eligibility for the skilled worker professionals or other workers. If you have at least two years experience, yes, and you also be able to demonstrate that you have your bachelor's degree or a, an equivalent however due to retrogression which is now affecting the employment-based visa categories there are so many delays and these delays are extending between 12 to 24 months it might even get worse it can get better in 2025 now before you make a decision you need to know the pros you need to know the cons so the pros of having a h1b visa is that it has a very short visa processing time and you can also extend your visa for up to six years but the cons is that it's a non-immigrant visa you have a non-immigrant status you, you don't have the benefits of a green card holder and the downside also is that your spouse would not be able to work in the u.s for 12 months now for me i feel the h1b visa will favor the singles people who are not married yet will be favored by the h1b visa but if you're married and you you have children of course you would have financial responsibilities if your spouse is not able to work for 12 months tell me how would you feel about it if tables were to be turned and you are the one who you were probably doing well in your home country and then you relocate and you're just sitting at home frustration is going to set in and disputes might set in and many more things so it's left for you to make an informed decision about which visa category you're going to go into the best decision is what suits your family now let's look at the recruitment agencies that are offering this h1b visa i'll tell you about that briefly the first on my list is avant healthcare avant healthcare is offering h1b visa because a friend of mine got the offer for h1b visa so they said hello avant candidates as you may be aware 
Avant has commenced filing H-1B employment-based visa categories for over the past several months and they want to extend this opportunity to meet application requirements and if you meet the application requirements and you qualify for the visa opportunity. They also stated that Avant has partnered with Magnet Facilities in the US and are identified clients that are eager to offer the h1b visa so basically hospitals will have to be eager to provide this h1b visa and then the agents will be the intermediary between you and the hospital offering the h1b visa remember that i said that h1b visa is a non-immigrant visa so while you're on the h1b visa you can come into the u.s within six months to start working and then your employer can file the employment-based visa category for you the next agency on my list offering the H-1B visa is Connectis USA. The third one is Passports USA. The fourth one is World Wild Health Solutions. I've seen a few videos from these agencies that I mentioned on YouTube and they've mentioned that they are offering the H-1B visa. And for Flint Agency and Gateway Agency, I have heard that they are offering the H-1B visa Please do well to contact any of these agencies to find out for sure if they are offering the H-1B visa. And also you need to make an informed decision whichever, whichever visa category you feel will be in your best interest and in your favor. So I just thought to share this with you today. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it to all the nurses, share it to your nursing groups, share it to your health professional groups so that everyone is informed about the h1b visa i've had a lot of people call to ask me about h1b visa i've done my research and this video is based solely 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 on my research tell me what you think in the comment section thank you for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye for now mm -hmm.